When we arrived to our house in Sweden, it was so warm. The house was literally like a sauna. We arrived at four o'clock in the morning after a 10 hour drive from Norway. And as soon as we got home, we just slept and woke up around midday and started unpacking the car. And that weekend, we needed to prepare for guests, our very first guest to the house. I had invited Gamanda and his girlfriend Ida from Germany. Gamanda is a wildlife photographer and he has 8 million followers on TikTok. So I wanted to learn a bit from him about TikTok and about filming. So before they arrived, Juan and I went to Ikea to buy a mattress for the second bedroom and we arrived to the town and there were loads of old vintage American cars and we wanted to know what was going on and we started to follow these cars and then we ended up being in a parade down the main high street with all these American cars and we were like the only normal car and it was just very awkward and quite funny. People were staring, people were pointing and it was just quite awkward. <laughs> anyway, we had the house ready and when Gamanda arrived, we went to the squirrel forest. I hadn't visited the squirrel forest since winter, so I had no idea what to expect or who I would find. And I ended up finding an old, very special friend. First I thought this was a squirrel called Digit, but when the squirrel got closer, I recognised her behaviour, and it was a squirrel called Ghost. Ghost is the squirrel I've known the longest. She is at least three years old and I've known her for two years. And the amazing thing about Ghost is that she recognises my whistle. I was in the forest today, I whistled as soon as I entered. And as I turned around, she was there waiting for me. The first renovation project we wanted to conquer was the living room. In the winter, I decided to start stripping the wallpaper before we knew what we were doing. Kind of a big mistake because we ended up having to remove about 50 years of wallpaper. It took us 10 days in total just to remove it and then prepare the walls for the wallpapering. But then we started applying the wallpaper and the result is so good. <laughs>
I also got impatient and started preparing the hallway to paint. Since we have 24 hours of daylight, we spent some evenings driving around looking for reindeer and moose. It ended up taking five layers of white paint to get rid of the green walls and we finished yesterday. It honestly looks so much better and we're starting to get quite excited about renovating the house and making it feel like our own home. Generally the house is in very good condition, it's just aesthetic things we want to change. We're pretty much at home every day working on the house and it's so nice to just live life a bit slowly. We were honestly getting worried, well at least I was. I was worried we wouldn't have any squirrels at the house. And now the squirrels are everywhere! <laughs> 
One night I left the seeds on the doorstep as a reminder that I needed to fill up the feeder. I got it. <laughs> and the next morning there was a squirrel on the doorstep. It's so nice having the bikes. We go cycling almost every evening. Now the squirrels come to the front door when there's no food in the feeders. At first they were super nervous. Every time I opened the window they would run to the tree. But now they're pretty used to us, talking and walking around the house. It's so nice rediscovering all my favourite places to walk. I've been wanting to start a new camera trap project. If you don't know what camera trapping is, it's when you have a camera connected to a motion sensor. So you leave the camera all set up and then an animal walks in front of the sensor and that tells the camera to take a photo. So you don't actually have to be there to take the photos and I've been wanting to find a new subject to photograph, something new, something cool. And I think I found my new subject. So the thing